day because there's so many different parts. Uh, first, they have to uh, build the circuit boards, which is done mostly uh, by automated machinery. Uh, and then there's a little bit of wiring, not too much wiring in these. They have to uh, put together the, uh, the wheels and mount them to the box and wire them up. Um, and then they just mount in here. The, so, and then the final construction doesn't take too long. You mount the keyboard, you mount the wheel box. Uh, you put the circuit boards and the metal work and screw it all together and then it goes through a test. So uh, I'm not really sure what the, you know, they probably have a number here for uh, the amount of time they spend on it uh, for the labor cost. SMT machines, it means service mount technology. It's um, in the old days resistors and capacitors you had leads that would have to go through the circuit board and be soldered on the bottom and the leads would have to be clipped and they were big and uh, so it took a lot of holes in the circuit board, which costs money. Uh, surface mount, everything is, sits on the top of the board, and they're much tinier. There's no holes. There's no leads to clip. Uh, it's a lot more reliable. The prices are a lot less. You know, the resistors are, you know, well under a penny. Um, so everything about it is good. Um, these right here, actually, uh, each of these reels has a, a probably 5,000 or 10,000 resistors on them or capacitors. So when they set up, each one of these slots will have uh, one of the parts that goes on the board. And uh, these little screens are not on right now because they're not running. Actually show a camera because it's all optical re um, resolution where the camera will spot where the uh, part has to go and then the, a part, a special uh, machine comes over and drops the part in exactly the right place using the optical technology to uh, figure out exactly where it goes. Uh, so it's a very sophisticated operation, and these machines just go like this, pretty much, just at that speed, placing the parts, the, bo the parts onto the solder paste. Um, and then finally it comes down here, and they'll take a quick look at it before it goes through. And then this is basically a big oven that's very precisely controlled temperature-wise because you can't get the solder too hot or too cold. If it's too cold, it doesn't solder correctly because the uh, solder paste has to wick up onto the parts. And so that's what happens in this big thing. It's basically just a very precise oven. You can even see it. The, the racks are moving through. So that's how fast they go through to get up to the right temperature and they get down. And then they pop out the other side and you have a complete board.